August 1224, I retired with three of my companions to keep a 40-day fast in preparation for the feast of St. Michael the Archangel. The sufferings of Christ were so deeply etched upon my heart that it was during this retreat that our Lord desired for me to enter more deeply into his passion. On the eve of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary, I went deep into the woods so as to be as far from my brothers as possible. For many days I suffered physically from the devil who despised my way of life and sought to destroy me. But a beautiful luminous figure appeared, holding a violin and a wave of peace washed over me. For many hours I knelt with arms outstretched, my eyes fixed upon Christ crucified. A great flame appeared and hovered above my head. Christ was inviting me to be like him in his suffering and torment. Oh my God, Jesus Christ, on this feast of the Holy Cross, I ask before I die that during my short life I may feel your sufferings and your love in my soul and in my body. A dazzling light flashed before my eyes, and before me stood a fiery figure with six wings nailed to a cross of fire. Two flaming wings rose upward. Two others opened out horizontally, and two more covered the figure. The wounds in the hands and feet and heart were blazing rays of blood. The sparkling features of Jesus were an expression of supernatural beauty and grief. The words that he spoke to me pierced my heart. Suddenly streams of fire and blood shot from his wounds and pierced my hands and feet with nails. My heart felt the thrust of the lance. Such love, such beauty, such grief. It vanished inside of me and with nails and wounds piercing my body my soul and spirit aflame. I sank down unconscious in my blood. This great gift of the stigmata was to remain with me for the rest of my life.